It's the Line of Fire with your host, Dr. Michael Brown, your voice of moral, cultural, and spiritual revolution. Here again is Dr. Michael Brown. I want to tell you before I say anything else that I love you. Now, I know that you're not going to believe that, but it is true. Oh, I believe it. So, and I have known that you were gay since you were a tiny little boy. Mm-hmm. So you would know at this point it's not a choice. And you have made a choice. I have not made a choice. Evidently from what you told your daddy. I have not made a choice. I have not made a choice. This is a video, viral video on YouTube. It has now been viewed well over 5 million times. A young man named Daniel Pierce, 20 years old had his cell phone put down. You can't see any of the people involved, but he's talking with family members about his homosexuality, and it end, it ends up horrifically. It's, it's hard to say where the violent confrontation ends, or excuse me, where the, the violent confrontation begins, but it's absolutely horrific. A fight breaks out. The guy gets punched, and his lip gets split, uh, and and he's immediately put out of the house for the the decisions that he's made in terms of coming out, and and the video is how not to react, you know, how not to react when your kid comes out as gay, and of course it's being spoken of as quote a Christian family uh, reacting in this way. No, it's clear as you listen, even though the word of God is mentioned, it's not a Christian family in terms of committed Christians. You can hear that by all the profanity that's being used. And even in the descriptions, when you read full articles about it, they weren't, particu- they weren't particularly religious family. They didn't go to church often. Either way, it's, it's a horrific uh, scene in terms of what happened. It's absolutely not the way to respond overall. Uh, I want you to hear a little bit more from it, and then I want to interact and just give some constructive thoughts. Let's go to clip number six. I have taken basic biology and psychology Uh and it's determined within the first six weeks of birth what your personality is going to be and that's part of your personality and you cannot change it and it's a scientific proof Mm -hmm. not not based off of you go by all the scientific stuff you want to i'm going by the word of god all right so there's the typical fundamentalist sounding we don't care what science says uh the sun goes around the earth if that's what the bible says because the sun rises and the sun sets and that's all we care about we don't care about science that's of course the impression you get let me give some constructive thoughts on this again this makes christians look bad this makes believers in general this look bad this makes the gospel look bad whereas in in point of fact this is not a representative Christian family using profanity, not attending church, and then getting into a fist fight with the kid. However, for sure, many gay kids have come out and met with all kinds of hostility from their family and have, have met with absolutely terrible responses. So may everyone who loves God and loves their kid recognize that this is not the way to respond and no matter how heart-wrenching it may be, if your kid tells you that they're gay, you say, why should it be heart-wrenching? Well, for many, it is. If they, if they come out with an announcement, what you need to do is first and foremost say, listen, we love you. You are a son. You are a daughter. We love you as our child. No matter what, you're always going to be our kid. We're always going to love you, and we're always going to be here for you if you need help. Now, in point of fact, the, the father is upset. He says, look, I cared for you. I did all this for you for 20 years, and you're running off your mouth on, on Facebook, social media against me, calling me a racist, and then, and then the son denies it. So who knows all of that? And again, what sparked the violence at the end, God only knows, but it's deplorable either way that these things happen. You can tell your kids, look, we follow the scriptures, and we believe God's ways are best, and we don't approve of homosexual behavior. And we, we won't approve of a homosexual relationship you're in, but you're our son, you're our daughter, we love you, we care for you. And, and whatever we can do to be involved in your life, we want to be involved in your life. And we're committed to you either way, through ups, through downs, through hard times, through choices you make that we don't agree with. Now, what's the choice? The choice is to declare a gay identity and to then 
practice homosexuality. That's the choice, even if it's ingrained to the core of your being as far back as you know. What's completely bogus, though, what's completely bogus, just to be candid, is the idea that that within six weeks, that somehow biology and science and psychology tell you that within six weeks, your personality is basically fully formed, including whether you're gay, straight, or bi, or whatever. There is no science that says that. Let me repeat it. There is no science that says a child's sexuality is absolutely fixed within the first six weeks. Now, I remember James Dobson once on TV was asked about homosexuality. Is it genetic or is it a choice? He said, no, it's not genetic and it's not a choice. In other words, you're not born this way, nor do you just choose to be this way. It's somewhere early on that these developments can take place, but they can take place in someone's life when they're six or seven or eight or ten. And these developments then lead to homosexuality. And for others, it's more deep-rooted than that. Either way, the idea that it's science versus the Word of God, there's no conflict. The Word of God speaks of us as a fallen race. The Word of God tells us Jesus died for all the same and that there's salvation and new life in Jesus for all. Um, The young man is 20 years old. If the family says we want you to move out, if he was practicing homosexuality, And they said, it's no different than us. If if you're sleeping with your girlfriend, if you're sleeping with your girlfriend, you can't stay in the house. Or if you're out getting drunk, you can't stay in the house. If you're practicing homosexuality, you can't stay in the house. That's one thing. If he simply declared that he's gay and he's not saying, hey, I'm, I'm not bringing partners back here or going to gay bars or something like that. I just want you to know I've come to grips with my sexual orientation. Well, to say you're out of the house and then he takes that as being disowned forever, you can see how this conflict escalates. But let's realize that this one little bit of bad news has now been shared millions and millions and millions and millions of times online. This young man has had such a flood of support, over $93,000 given to him already to help him in his living expenses. It's a traumatic and terrible situation. Certainly shows us what many kids do go through, maybe not that level of violence, but they go through all kinds of traumatic things that should sensitize us and help us to better deal with those who declare their homosexuality. And may Daniel and his whole family really come to know and experience the love and truth of God.